There are several enhancements or changes to layout mode in FileMaker 17 that I think are worthy of noting. When you go into layout mode in the upper right hand corner you're going to notice that it says show hide panes. This is very similar to what you have in the script workspace in the calculation dialog. And what they've done is they've taken the palettes for the inspector, the objects, and the field picker and converted them into panes. So you'll see them over on the right side. There's the inspector. It's exactly the same as it was before in FileMaker 16, but now it's anchored to the right side. And now you have the fields and the objects over here on the left side. And you can show them both at the same time if you want. Imagine having a big screen and having all this usable space here and being able to rely on where these panes are going to be. They're not pallets anymore. You're not going to lose them on the giant screen. You know, when you have all these layered windows, I can't tell you how many times I'm like, where is the inspector? It's kind of blending in with other stuff. Now it's always in a reliable position. And you can show and hide it with the same keyboard commands too. A command I or a control I is going to go ahead and make that inspector show or hide. So I can tell you this for me is a big, big change. I can't tell you how many times I've had to move the inspector out of the way so I could get to something and move it over here and move it over there. Now I just have it in one spot. It's anchored over on the right or it's anchored over on the left. It just makes it easy. I can move my mouse over there. I'll get that mouse movement. We'll just get used to moving over there. As soon as we get used to it, I think everybody will love this new feature because it's just going to be much better than palettes. Palettes are, are really, uh, you know, so last decade is the best way to say it. They're, you know, Programs are moving to more, uh, you know, interfaces like we see right now. Now, one of the things I noticed right away is that in the toolbar, you don't have any navigation arrows for the layouts. They removed them to clean up the interface, and they can be customized and put back on there just by going in here and dragging them back on there. I personally love them because often I'm working on two side-by-side -side layouts. I don't want to have to go ahead and try to find the layout on here through some sub-menu. It's much easier to go back and forth and see the differences and see what I'm doing. So for me, this is great. I don't really use you know, the numbers and type in numbers. I don't look at the total number. I don't use the, the slider here. I just like these arrows here. And those are key for me as far as working with uh, you know side-by-side -side layouts and trying to get them exactly the same. It's not always, you're not always perfect when you're designing a solution right from the beginning and making every layout perfect and exactly matching. So that helps out uh, to go ahead and, and do things a little bit more efficiently for me. So I'd add them back in if I were you. The last feature I'd like to show you in layout mode is the ability to edit grouped objects. So here's what I mean. We have a bunch of objects here that are not grouped, so I'm going to go ahead and select them. Come up here and group them. Now normally if you wanted to edit them, you'd have to go ahead and ungroup them. Now you could have in the past in FileMaker 16 earlier double clicked on a field and changed it to another one or double click on a button and, or a portal or whatever, but I'm talking about these kinds of changes. When you click again, you can now do things that you couldn't do before, such as resize a field without ungrouping it. You could go ahead and change the color if you wanted to. Anything you can do when they're ungrouped, you can do when they're grouped. In fact, you can even resize it, and the bounds are going to go with it like that. It's pretty cool what you can do. So it's just going to make it a little bit more efficient. I like to think of the feature that we saw in you know the previous version of FileMaker with the objects was allowing you to work with you know complicated layouts uh, more easily because they might be all layered and you might want to get down to the object you want. Well, I think this is just an addition to that or an enhancement to that capability in that you don't have to ungroup things all the time because I love grouping stuff. You want to move them together, but then I have to ungroup them. Then, then what if it's a really complicated layered object? You know, there's several groupings on top of each other. Then it's hard to go ahead. You have to move it out of the way, group it, move it back. This should make things much easier. So let's go ahead and undo all those things. I think I did three things there. And the last one. And we're back to the way we were. And I, of course, can keep it grouped or ungroup it, whatever I want to do. So those are the enhancements to layout mode. Not a lot, but I think a couple of really key features that will make you working in layout mode much more efficient.